Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog. This uh, lesson is Angle Bisectors of Triangles. So this uh, Integrated Math 1 link is Module 23.2. If you go to this groovy website, MrMathBlog.com, you'll find uh, a site that looks like this right there. That's my YouTube site right there. I upload it there first. Anyways, but they're nicely organized right here in this Integrated Math 1 link right there. And if you click that, it's going to be loaded right down below 23, uh, 23 point, uh, this should be 23.1 anyways. That's where it's going right there, okay? Okay, so let's get started with this here. Um, uh, let's see, so our question here is how can we use angle bisectors to find points uh, that is equidistant from all the sides of a triangle? And I know you're thinking, what the heck? I'll, I'll, I'll help you. So. So here we go. This is part one. The second part we're going to do is um, uh, the five ways uh, that triangles are congruent. And I think you've seen that before already. But here we go. So a circle, you guys, is inscribed in a polygon if each side of the polygon is tangent to the circle. Okay, and so in this figure, we have this circle that's inscribed in this quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z. So when a circle is inscribed, it's called an in-circle. And right there, point C is called the in-center of that in-circle. So to find the in-center of a triangle, we construct the angle bisectors. In the last lesson, we constructed uh, the perpendicular bisectors. Here we're constructing the angle bisectors. The perpendicular bisectors gave us the circle on the outside of the triangle, the circumcircle. The perpendicular bisectors gives us the circumcircle. The angle bisectors, the angle bisectors are going to give us the in-circle or the in-center of the in-circle. So go ahead and uh, draw a big, a big uh, um, a scalene acute triangle, okay? We can do uh, any kind of triangle. We can do this with all of them, but this one's easier to see, okay? So first thing we're going to do is construct the angle bisector of uh, angle P. So let me go ahead and grab my compass right here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll do this in, in blue first. First, I'm going to, uh, to construct an angle bisector. Um, I didn't teach you last year, so I don't know if you guys have done this or this year. Hopefully you've done this before. Okay, we're going to make an arc through both sides of angle P right there. Whoops, I did that in green right there. I think I did it in blue in the other ones. Let me put this in blue. Okay, so you'll see that uh, there's that right there. Well, I did a little bit smaller right there. So. Uh, and then from, we're going to put uh, the compass right there, the pointy right there, and the pointy right there, okay? And so, uh, and I'm going to make it a little bit, it, now, it just has to be the same compass opening from here and here. So whatever your compass opening is, you can use the same one that you have, or you can use a different one, but it has to be the same from here and from here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's outside of the circle because my in circle is going to be in there, and I just don't want everything to be uh, too crowded in there. So I'm opening mine up a little bit further. I'm going to arc out here, then that same compass is going to go uh, right down here. Okay, it's got to be the same compass opening, and I'm going to arc it again so where these two arcs intersect. Now where those two arcs intersect, I'm going to pick up my straight edge right here and then connect where they intersect right here to the angle. Whoops, I lost my uh, letter P right there. So there my P, the letter P should be right there for triangle PQR. Anyways, um, uh, let's go ahead and connect that up, and then uh, there's our angle bisector right there. Okay, let's do the same thing from angle R. Okay, so I'll do uh, this in, in red so we can distinguish it a little bit. So, okay, first thing we do is we make an arc on, on both sides of uh, angle R. So I'm going to go ahead and put pointy right there. And then we're going to arc on both sides of the angle. Let me bring this down a little bit. Okay, so something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put my compass right there and right there. And we're going to go ahead and arc it again. Uh, and I'm going to make it just open a little bit. It has to be the same from this one and from this one. Your compass opening has to be the same. Okay, and we're going to arc it out in the middle out there. Okay, because we're going to do it out here. Let me open this up just a little bit more okay alright so we're gonna make a pencil scribe out here so something like that I don't know if it's big enough I better go back okay make it sure it's big enough now that compass opening goes over here okay so we're gonna do that and then 
and then pick up our straight edge and then we want to connect where these arcs out here intersect to um, an R right there okay I'm not done with the compass yet I'm gonna put it aside right there okay so there's that there's that connect them up okay now what we do is um, or at this point where those two angle bisectors intersect is the in center this is the center of the in circle that we're gonna inscribe in this uh, triangle right there so now we're gonna put the point on C okay so the pointy goes on C and then we're gonna open the compass up just so it touches the side of triangle PQR. You can pick any side. I'll pick this side right here, side PR. Remember, there's uh, the letter P right there. Now we're going to make sure that the compass goes on the side. We don't want it right there. I don't want it over here. I want, I want this pencil to be straight down, so if you can imagine a right angle, so like right around there. Let me see if I can, so maybe maybe like right there what do you think is that going to be a right angle from here to here okay maybe let's see let me close it in just a little bit okay so as long as that's a perfectly right angle right there and 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 um, that's a whole nother issue another construction that we're just going to skip we're just going to estimate you know the right angle right there and if we get a good estimation then we can make our our in circle in there and that's pretty good I did pretty good on that okay I don't need this anymore so you can see I did this right there okay all right so there's our in circle that's going to lead us into the the in center theorem so the the angle bisectors of a triangle intersect at a point that is equidistant to the sides of a triangle well let's go back to this figure right here see these angle bisectors intersected right here this point is equidistant to this side as it is to this side as it is to this side right there because they're just the radius of the in circle that we inscribed inside of there okay so the distance from this point to this line is a perpendicular segment the distance from this point to this line is a perpendicular segment and so on so let's go back to this so this is saying this here's the angle bisectors we got these two markings right here that shows that this is the angle bisector we got these two markings actually there's three arcs and three arcs shows that this is the angle bisector these show that this is the angle bisector so if they are the angle bisectors then this theorem says that this perpendicular distance equals this perpendicular distance equals this perpendicular distance it has to be perpendicular and it's just the radius of the in circle that would be inscribed inside of there so the angle bisectors gives me the in center of the in circle and then these are just the radius so this theorem just says that this point is equidistant to this side perpendicular, is equidistant to this side perpendicular, that's why these right angles, and same equidistant to that side perpendicular, okay? All right, so let's use that on this thing here. So it says JV and, and segments JV and KV, so this segment and this segment are angle bisectors right there. Find each measure. Okay, let's do a little bit of uh, logic here. If this is an angle bisector right here, can I convince you if that's 19 and this is 19 right there and the whole angle is 38 okay and then uh, if this if th this is my in center of my in circle if I could draw the in circle it would go right around here so this distance is my radius is 7.3 equals the perpendicular segment going here so if we had an invisible perpendicular line that would be 7.3 and that would be 7.3 if I can draw a right angle right there okay so let's find the distance from V to KL okay so the distance from V to KL is that perpendicular segment it's it's going to equal this distance from V to W right there, okay? So it's going to be 7.3. Okay, number two says find the measure of angle VKL, VKL. Okay, now in this lesson I actually found VKW, but it's the same because they tell me they're angle bisectors. So whatever this angle is, it equals this angle. Okay, let's go down to this angle bisector. You've got 19 and 19 on that side because it's an angle bisector. So the whole angle together is 38. All right, now we have a triangle. Triangles add up to 180, so this plus this plus how much more is going to get us 180 right there? 
So when we add them up, we get that this angle right here is equal to 36. Well, let's put it back up here. Here's the angle bisector, so let's cut that 36 in half, and we're going to find out this is 18, and that's 18 right there, okay? So when we do that, then the measure of angle VKL is equal to 18. Now, I put the 18 on this side. Here's VKL over here. VKL, but it's still 18, okay? All right, here's another theorem, the angle bisector theorem. If a point lies on the bisector of an angle, here's a picture, here's a bisector, this ray right here is a bisecting this angle because of these two blue guys right here. Just tells me this angle equals this angle, which this is the angle bisector of the whole thing. So here's a point that's on this angle bisector. If it's on the angle bisector, then it's equidistant to the sides. The distance from this point to this side is a perpendicular line. The distance from this point to this side is straight down as a perpendicular line, okay? So that's what that says right there. If, if these two angles are equal, that's an angle bisector. So if this is on the angle bisector, then this distance equals this distance. Uh, AC equals BC, okay? All right, so in the converse says this, you guys, if a point is in the interior of an angle, and is equidistant to the side. So here, this says if this point is equidistant to this side and this side, then it's going to have to be right on that angle bisector. That's what this says, okay? So it has to be on the angle bisector. So that means that this little angle here equals this little angle. Angle APC equals angle BPC, okay? That's what this says. All right, so these are pretty easy. Let's find each measure, okay? All right, so here, these markings say angle bisector. This uh, ray KM is an angle bisector. And this right angle from this point says it's my distance from this point to here. So this distance, since it's on the angle bisector, is going to equal this distance. So if this is 12.8, so is LM. LM is also 12.8 right there. Okay, here's another one here. So here we have... Um, Okay, they didn't tell me that this is an angle bisector, but I do see right angles right here, and I see that this has the length of 74, and this has a length of 74. The 74s are there to tell me that this segment is congruent to this segment, or the distance from D to this side is equal to the distance from D to this side right there. This could be 740, it could be 7,400. As long as these are equal, I know that this is an angle bisector right here, okay? So this is an angle bisector because these guys are equal and we've got the right angles right there and that whole angle is 112, so cut it in half. Okay, since it's an angle bisector, then cut them in half and we get uh, each one of those angles is going to be uh, 56. All right, if you are in my class, that would be your assignment. Take care.